Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole Huseman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I thought I would share with you my career journey, talk with you about how I started in computer science and managed to land my absolute dream job right out of college. But before we begin my journey in computer science and the world of technology, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me as a small creator. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is Mondays and Thursdays. And I'm really excited to share with you guys a lot of content around my life in Silicon Valley. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I realized that I wanted to study computer science well before I got to college, and I was lucky enough to have programming experience by reading a lot of computer science books. Unfortunately, my school didn't have a computer science program, but I really think as long as you come in willing to learn and you're excited about computer science, it doesn't matter how much prior experience you have before college. I can totally make a whole video about preparing for your first year as a computer science major, but I'm just sharing with you my journey today. So I went to a school called James Madison University, which is a small liberal arts school in the Western area of Virginia, which is my home state. I wanted in-state tuition. And so I started at school as a computer science major where I did eventually graduate. So I had the same major all throughout college. In my sophomore year, I went to the Grace Hopper Convention for Women in Computer Science and it was out in Texas and one of my friends from high school lived nearby. So he picked me up and after the convention, we went to tour NASA and I was just so enthralled with it. So I was going to these career fairs at the Grace Hopper Convention, applying to some wonderful companies. And then for fun, I went to tour NASA and I kind of just got this idea in my head, like, wait, what if I, what if I tried to intern for NASA. Like what if I applied at NASA instead of some of these other companies? And I looked it up online. So I filled out the application. I was so nervous. I hit submit and waited to hear if I would become NASA, a NASA 2016 summer intern. However, there was just one problem. I applied to be a NASA spring 2016 intern. So I ended up getting the NASA internship, which was unreal. I remember just screaming, thinking I couldn't do it, thinking, oh my God, I'm, how am I going to uproot my life? in college in my dorm and go to NASA and um, NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. So I did end up dropping out that next semester and taking the job at NASA. And my mindset was just kind of like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I cannot pass this up. This is the springboard for the rest of my time. So I moved down to Cape Canaveral, Florida, where I met so many of my absolute best friends. Like the people I met in that internship are probably some of my favorite people in this world. Literally like that's where I met my husband. We worked at NASA together. I worked on a testing system while I was there for the launch room and I loved it so much. I applied for the summer with one of my best friends named Riley who I met at NASA and we did end up getting a second return internship. So in the summer, I returned to NASA and because I had done so on my first internship, I actually got to write code for the launch initiation sequence of the next manned spaceflight program. So I made the dashboard that would show all the critical user information. Definitely an ongoing effort, um, but I was very lucky to get to work on a small part of this and I absolutely loved it. So at this point, I returned back to school for my junior year. I had dropped out the second half of my sophomore year. So I didn't take any classes. I just thought like I had always taken like 16 to 17 credit hours a semester and I was kind of ahead. So when I came back to school for my junior year, I was like, okay, time to finish it out. I now had NASA on my resume, which was insane. Like I said, it was this kind of springboard moment for me. So I came back to school, caught, caught up on my classes. And again, I went to the Grace Hopper Convention for Women in Computing and I gave some of my resumes out to just my dream companies. Like I, I had no idea that I would get interviews at these places, but I was like, I can't not give my resume to Google while I'm here. Like I have to at least try. So I ended up getting interviews on the spot at both Apple and Facebook. And it was kind of this weird moment where I, I was just so scared. I didn't stress myself out about it. Like in my mind, I was like, there's no way, but these will be great practice interviews. So just go in, be yourself and try your best. I wasn't so scared of like, this is like the final round. I might get it, I might not. Like I truly thought there was no way. And I'd done technical interviews before. I was actually president of my computer sciences competitive programming club. So I'm definitely used to that kind of environment. And to say I hadn't practiced is a bit of a misstatement because basically the entire computer programming club is questions that they ask in technical interviews. 
but I hadn't prepared sitting down being like, okay, I'm going to do this for the Facebook interview. These are the questions I think they might ask. I didn't read the books. I just went in and gave it my best. So I received an Apple offer on the spot. I actually remember when my final interview, they asked me, so why do you wanna work for Apple? And I just said, because I love and genuinely use the products and I want to create something for myself. And I wanna create something for people like me. I wanna be able to empathize with their experience. And I just remember she looked at me and says, okay, you're gonna come work at Apple. And I was so excited. I remember they had this really cool white Apple folder with all of my info inside about the new internship. And I was so, so pumped. Um, and when I didn't hear from Facebook, I didn't really think much of it because I was just so excited, like Apple. Like I wasn't gonna work in an Apple store. I was gonna be a software engineer working on the software at Apple. And that was so cool to me because I truly, truly love Apple. I had the Apple Watch, I had a Mac, I had an iPhone, I had an iPad. Like every Apple product I, I'm just obsessed with. I love the innovation of the company. I got back from the convention, still didn't hear from Facebook and just on a whim, I kind of emailed them being like, hey, I got this Apple internship. I was wondering if you could let me know because the Apple deadline was like the next day that I had to decide on this offer. And it was a no brainer, I was gonna take it. Maybe an hour later, I get an email back from the Facebook recruiter saying, yes, we loved you. We would like to offer you an internship. So now I was in this conundrum of like, okay, I have an Apple internship, I have a Facebook internship, but which one do I choose? Because Facebook to me back in 2016 was this really cool like hacker company. I loved Instagram, I loved the Facebook product. Like I remember when I first got my Facebook profile, I never had MySpace, I just started on Facebook. And I really couldn't pick between the two because I'd also heard Apple was like a little secretive or it's like Facebook was known for being a little bit more open and I truly just could not decide. So in true Nicole fashion, I took another semester off and I took both internships. So I left my June, the second half of my junior year and moved to Menlo Park, California, where I interned for Facebook. And I was actually lucky enough to get to intern on the Instagram growth and acquisition team. So a lot of my work revolved around the sign in flow or the sign up flow for Instagram on the iPhone, which is really exciting because it means a lot of people have used my code. And I was just so entranced. NASA was great, don't get me wrong, but it is so slow. Like to get work done, you have to go through all these processes and safety check, which totally makes sense. You're launching a rocket. But at Facebook, one of their sayings was like, move fast and break things. Like you move fast, get things done. We're out here making an impact in the world. And I was just so obsessed, I worked my butt off. I probably stressed a little bit too much about it because I remember just working and wanting so badly to continue that work, not just for the perks and the pay, but because I had so much fun working on the code. And this was one of the first times that I actually got to launch code and see people use it. I remember I made a small little change to the sign up flow. And later that month I was on a train and I look over and see someone with an iPhone signing up for Instagram. And I'm like, holy moly, that is my code on a totally random stranger's phone. And it just blew me away. The feeling I'll never get over. So in the summer, I went to Apple and unfortunately I can't tell you much about what I worked on because Apple is known for its secrecy, but I really did enjoy my time there too. And I was so entranced in working at a company that was so focused on design and user experience, which are two of my favorite things. I'm not a good designer, but I very much appreciate good design. And I love the prioritization of the user experience, having empathy for the user, figuring out how to best serve them. So I definitely took a lot away from it. But at the end of the day, when I had to pick between Apple and Facebook, it was kind of a no brainer for me because Facebook was so open. I loved their mindset of like nothing at the company is someone else's problem. So I decided that after I graduate college, I would join Facebook as a full-time software engineer. And I, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. <laughs> I mean, if I really look back, probably like accidentally applying the spring internship for NASA, which kind of led me here was the best decision, but I am so happy I work for Facebook. So originally my start date for Facebook was October-ish of 2018, but by the time I graduated college, I was just so ready to get that feeling back of shipping code and making impact that I actually moved it to like a week after I graduated college. So I graduated college, went to a robotics competition, and then immediately moved out to California and started work. 
I have been working at Facebook for almost three years now on different teams and I seriously love it so much. I'm so, so thankful for all the wonderful people I get to work with. They're so smart. So I kind of made this video to show you that you don't have to take a traditional career path. If I were to tell myself one thing, if I were to go back and tell like 19 year old Nicole trying to figure out the world of her career, I would say don't take the traditional path. The fact that I took that semester and I, instead of taking the traditional path and continuing college and doing this internship in the summer, I was able to do in the spring and I really think that gave me an edge when I applied of there were less applicants, less people wanted to apply for a spring position. And I really think that launched me. And when I took, you know, the Facebook and the Apple internship and left school again, I didn't just do the traditional thing. I didn't just pick one. I explored both options. I kind of did the unusual and I really credit a lot of my success in my career to that. So if you take one thing away from this video, take away that the unusual path will take you to great places. This was my career story. Go ahead and drop a comment down below if anything resonates with you. If you've had any internships that you just have loved so much, if you've connected with great people, I would love to hear about your experiences. I hope you have a wonderful day, but before you go, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me as a small creator. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is Mondays and Thursdays. And I can't wait to share with you guys more about my Silicon Valley life and my life working in technology. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you